Good morning, Keeley. Bullock made this decision in anticipation of more flooding and even possible evacuations. He said last night, quote, that the next few days could be a real challenge. Now, this move from the Bullock administration allows the state to mobilize resources and the Montana National Guard to protect life, health, and property. More regions could be added later um, to the declaration, but right now, currently, we're at the Broadwater Bay uh, boat launch where you can see they are closed. Now, the water is coming up into the parking lot, and um, you can kind of see over there the grass is the water is taking over the grass. Now, if you want to come over this way with me, the river looks beautiful on this Thursday morning, but it is quite deceiving. Uh, the current is going so fast. I don't know if you can even hear um, it, but it is loud and it's going to continue to be like this throughout the rest of the day. And I heard Michelle, she's tracking rain, which is not going to be good. Now let's take a look at our high risk flood areas. The Great Falls and Cascade County Emergency Operations Center decided that these areas are most affected. Gannon Ranch Edition, uh, Woodland Estates, Big Bend, Lower River Road and Flood Road um, are our high risk flood areas right now. Elsewhere around Great Falls, roads have been closed. Central Avenue West from 34th Street to Sun River Road and uh, River Drive South from 1st uh, Avenue South to 3rd Avenue. Broadwater Bay, which is where we are, that boat launch is closed along with the Sun River boat launches. And actually the Fish, Wildlife and Parks decided to close all boat launches across Cascade County. Law enforcement and firefighters, firefighters excuse me, will be going door to door um, at the most high risk areas, trying to deliver information to residents warn them about the um, expected flooding throughout the rest of the weekend. I'm going to send it back to you, Keely, now for more closures across the area. But right now I'm live in Great Falls, uh, Elizabeth Transu, NCN News. All right, thanks, Elizabeth. And like she was saying, multiple roadways outside of Great Falls are also closed this morning. The stretch of Montana Highway 200 from the junction with Secondary Highway 279 past Sims to U.S. Highway 89 is closed this morning. Highway 21 is closed from Augusta to Sun River. The, br the bridge a half mile east of Augusta has washed out. And we're told Ohm Vaughn Road is down to just one lane this morning with water on the road at the bridge near Vaughn South Frontage Road. For a full list of closures, you can visit the Montana Department of Transportation website. The American Red Cross of Montana will open a shelter in Great Falls, and that happened at 6 o'clock this morning in response to the Missouri River and Sun River flooding. The shelter is located at the New Hope Lutheran Church, and that address is 3125 Fifth Avenue South. Well, some residents who live in Great Falls received a phone call Wednesday afternoon with an alert about flooding concerns. This is an informational alert from the Cascade County Emergency Operations Center. We are anticipating the rising water may cause the Missouri and Sun Rivers to flood inside Great Falls city limits and the surrounding area. That alert is part of the code red system. We're told that message was sent to people with numbers registered within a certain distance of the 100 year floodplain. You can sign up to receive alerts directed for you through code red emergency notifications. You can sign up through the city of Great Falls website. We have a link as well on our websites. And in preparation for more flooding, a fill your own sandbag station opened in the Home Depot parking lot Wednesday afternoon. Community members came together to fill sandbags for those who have property in danger of flooding. Dozens of volunteers filled thousands of sandbags in the Home Depot parking lot. The station was set up around 3.30 Wednesday afternoon and several, several truckloads of dirt were delivered. One volunteer said the sandbagging was a great example of Great Falls coming together and helping each other out. I know friends are going to be impacted, so we're trying to help our friends that are impacted. Um, we have friends that live in the floodplain, actually, and we're sandbagging their home. And um, there's another friends that we're helping clear out their basement tonight. And we will keep you updated about any other volunteer or sandbagging events in the coming week. Residents in Vaughn are preparing for the worst. At the Vaughn Fire Rescue, residents can go fill as many sandbags as needed for free. CERT was on hand to help fill, tie, and load sandbags for those in need Wednesday. The station will be open all day for anyone who wants to stop by and help fill or if you need them for your house.